Oh yeah, it's your call. It's got heads or tails. Heads. Right. A toss and they're off. Some last inspiring words from the kid who started it all. No pressure. And um, I'm not losing my sister, OK? This bunch of cricket-obsessed youngsters came together to start their own club. I went and played for Charleville for a season and I didn't get to train like the other kids, so I rallied some of my mates to come down to the nets and help me train. Word spread and now 25 kids are part of the emus, enough to make two teams for their first game of the season. A huge feat for the tiny town that hasn't fielded a junior cricket team in more than 30 years. At the end of the day, like, Carnamala wins. Everyone gets to like, join and all that. We can have fun. It's fun because then we don't have nothing to do on the weekends and all that. We can just come here and play game cricket. Businesses donated uniforms with a local artist contributing the emu print for the best dressed cricket team in the country. They've done a lot with the design and a lot with the team, a lot with the rules, uh, learning the game and kids can make it from anywhere. Until now, there was no team sport for kids once they reached high school. They've got something to look forward to, something to do, and it's something for the parents to come along as well. It means a great deal. Like, there are limits, I suppose, for rural and remote communities like ours for sporting opportunities for young children. So to have a junior cricket club, that's just one other avenue. 12-year-old Henry is the catalyst. So what's next? To go and play travel in a game and hopefully Burke and flog him. Next two! Hannah Walsh, ABC News, Kanamala.